Hello everybody, my name is Zach, aka The Weather Gamer, bringing you week one of SBT uh, Rivals. I know I'm using the old logo for SBT. I am still trying to get my OBS set up from when I moved out and moved into my new place. I have five leagues going on and only four OBS is set up, or four OBS layouts set up right now, which is why the Zero Aura logo is all messed up too, Corviknight Zero Aura logo. That's on my to-do list today because it's my day off and my birthday and all that not the day you guys are seeing this but the day that it came out or the day that i'm recording it so um anywho i had to post comment this one um i played this match last i don't it's probably been a week plus since i played it but um i did not have my recording stuff set up i had my tower up and that was it i didn't have my desk i didn't have my chair so i was just standing here playing the game so i uh said yeah i'm gonna have to post com a couple of these that's why brl's uh week one's post com too so but yes um so i'm doing a little bit of a team builder here we were playing oh that's the wrong game um ishii and his i cannot think of the name of his team right now i'm not gonna pull it up because i'll spoil the results but um he stole garchomp from me so i was very unhappy um i was going for garchomp but anywho um i brought shookaberry zero Aura to counteract um ground type hits plasma fist play rough knock off and volt switch um against his team play rough being for the garchomp it was so i could pick off garchomp that's why i had shookaberry zero aura i could pick off garchomp um as long as it wasn't swords danced up um i could pick it off with play rough because of the Shookaberry. Um, Plasma Fist to deal with his Corviknight, his Tapu Fini, um, knock off for items, and then Volt Switch to pivot because outside of Garchomp, which Garchomp can't switch in directly, it has to fear the play rough. Um, speed Creep on, I believe we're Bombi's actually his fastest mon, if I remember correctly. I think it's Rebombi because that looks like Rebombi Speed Creep. Something like that. Max Attack, bulky. Uh, it was Scarfed Mens to try and outspeed um, Garchomp, and then I remembered, wait, Garchomp's uh, faster than me naturally? So it was to outspeed Chomp before it got a scale shot off, um, potentially. I went special. Um, special just made a lot more sense to me. Max special attack. Um, the speed creep was actually to... I think he has a Rotom form. And that's where that speed creep is. Um, that's why I'm modest nature. Because I knew it was going to outspeed with Garchomp being scarfed anyways. But Draco Hurricane Fire Blast were the best set there. Then I threw Wish on. Um, you know, a scarfed Wish is never a bad thing. Um, I could Wish as I pivot. Um, like early game, if Finny's going to be switching in on me, I could Wish pivot. Um, Banded Cinderace with Powerball U-Turn, Gunk Shot, and Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch to pick off um, Necrozma if it gets set up. Um, Powerball, just Banded Powerball, what switches into that. U-Turn for pivoting, and Gunk Shot for the Finny switching in. And Mega Gyarados here, um, Dragon Dance Crunch, Power Whip for Finny, and Waterfall. Um, speed Crept for the Necrozma, I believe. And then Max Attack, a little bit of bulk. Uh, Rhyperior with the Expert Belt, 200 Adamant, 60 in the speed, just for, you know, min speed creeping. Uh, max HP, Stone Edge, Stealth Rock, Thunder Punch, and Earthquake. And then Sylveon, which is pretty much my standard Sylveon set. Um, when I need Spadef, Sylveon is Hyper Voice, Mystic Fire, Wish, and Yawn. So I am carrying Double Wishing um, to try and keep my team as healthy as possible. Obviously, Hyper Voice... Um, with Pixelate is a very powerful stab. Um, Wish, I talked about Yawn to put things to sleep so he can't try to set up. And then Mystic Fire to keep special attackers down plus hit the Corviknight. So, but that was the team. I'm actually going to clear the team now because I no longer need it. And I did make some free agent transactions, so I'll talk about those now so I don't talk about them ahead in week two. But... We'll go ahead and jump into it. Um, he leads Buzzwall. I lead Salamance. I when I saw his team outside of a Tapu Finny lead, 
there was no reason for me not to lead Salamance. I was going to do damage regardless. Uh, Fire Blast being for Corviknight, by the way. And it worked out in my favor because it spooked. Um, it's going to spook Buzzwall out, which I assume is carrying Ice Punch. Um, so that's why I'm Intimidate, not Moxie. Because I'm special and I want to keep his physical attackers down. He does switch into the Finny. I get a Hurricane off and do, you know, 40 some percent to him. Goes for Draining Kiss. I bring Sylveon in. Damn it, Dad. Sorry about that. My dad was just calling to tell me that Thanksgiving was um, lunch is cooking faster than he anticipated, so they're going to call me when they want me to come over and sit in my car for Thanksgiving slash my birthday. It sucks having your birthday on Thanksgiving, but I digress. So um, I go into Sylveon because I'm max Spadef. I know I can take any hit from Tapu Fini. I can go for a Yawn here. I can go for a Wish. I can pretty freely fire off Moonblast, or I can Mystic Fire and start dropping, you know, Finny's special attack even farther. Um, his best switch is Corviknight and that, or Muck, and Muck doesn't necessarily want to take a hyper voice um, because of the dark typing. I make the switch predicting the Muck to come in, so I go Rhyperior. Turns out I was wrong, and I'm going to have to be back into Sylveon versus Finny. I immediately go for Mystic Fire because he's set up, as I see Taunt, so I want to keep his special attack in check. He crits me whatever i'm just going to keep mystic firing lowering his special attack forcing him either to calm mind or to get out and i make a play into zero aura he goes for knock as i go for knock unfortunately he takes my shook out and zero aura is weakened poison jab and gets the poison on gyarados which sucks i was really behind on the early game hacks um i go for the dragon dance Waterfall does 59%. He U-turns. I should be able to get a kill. And, well, he's defensive Buzzwall with Rocky Helmet. So that turned into a big loss for Gyarados. Cinderace comes in. I U-turn. And Sylveon's going to threaten this Garchomp again. I go for Yawn. I know he's pressure, so I don't have to worry about going to sleep. He's going to pivot into Muck. And I predicted going for the Hyper Voice. I get a second Hyper Voice off, and here we go. Here comes the Necrozma. I yawn, predicting him to do, you know, shenanigans. Photon Geyser does a hefty chunk, telling me that he's off uh, physically offensive, not special. Necrozma goes to sleep. I'm going to toss a Wish to try and live whatever hit and get into Cinderace. It wakes up. Goes for another Photon Geyser, chipping down Cinderace pretty hard. I U-turn, and shit, I triggered the weakness policy. I have to sack Rhyperior there, and I Sucker Punch Necrozma down. Mens comes in. Predictably, there's a Swords Dance here. I So, after the game, Ishii and I kind of got into it a little bit about this. He thinks he wins the game here if he didn't get confused by Hurricane. And I told him he still loses this game, potentially. The Hurricane does suck, but it doesn't end the game. Because I still had Sucker Punch on Cinderace, which would have taken this thing out at 7%. And I still had, you know, a faster Zero Aura. Even if he scaled, well, he could scale shot. He was gonna scale shot here. That's... His plan was to scale shot uh, when he punches himself in the face here on the next turn. So it would have been faster than Zero Aura, and he thinks he sweeps. But he would have to Swords Dance. He he couldn't Swords Dance to stop my Sucker Punch. He would have to predict me to Sucker, or he would have to attack me, because if he Swords Dances and I just U-turn with Cinderace, I kill him, and it's over. Garchomp's still dead, and it's still 3v3. Um, so I, I, I don't think that this punching himself in the face matters too much, in my opinion. You guys can decide that for yourself. It's also really stupid of him to leave Garchomp in on me. You know, I hurricane just because I was predicting Finny, but if I just said, screw it, you know, I can switch into Sylveon on Finny, I'll just drop a Draco here, regardless of what happens, even though he has two Mons that resist Draco. I could have straight up killed him with Draco because I've Scarfed. 
So I, I really don't think he was correct in saying that Garchomp wins the game right here if he doesn't punch himself in the face. So he's salty about it, but in comes Finny. I'm going to switch into Sylveon here, and uh, this is where I had a big brain play. Um, I figured he's going to try to win with Finny at this point, um, and I need to get Sylveon healthy. I go for the Wish. As Corviknight comes in, he U-turns as I stay in. Um, I caught him predicting a switch there, um, which allowed me to Mystic Fire the Buzzwall. Now, the Buzzwall's weakened. I'm going to pivot. Oh, I didn't pivot. I go for Yawn. That's what I did. I Yawn trying to predict and keep him down. And now this is where the stalling begins. Um, he goes for Taunt predicting me to go for Yawn, and he starts Calm Minding, and I know Mystic Fire is going to do Jack, especially with Leftovers, but we're in a situation here where it's, I'm going to keep his special attack down so he can't set up with Finny. He's going to be forced to taunt me, and if I Mystic Fire on the turn that he taunts, he gets behind another, because now he's permanently minus one. So as soon as my taunt comes off, Because he can't afford to let me on him. Taunt ends. Mystic Fire. He's now permanently minus two special attack. So until I run out of Mystic Fires, he can't get ahead. And basically what I was doing here was I was playing till the next taunt. I was trying to condition him to continue to get into this Calm Mind taunt cycle. And then go into Zero Aura, which is exactly what I got here. Um, he goes into... This thing, Chipping Zera, I have to uh, Volt Switch into Salamance, drop his attack, which saved me because of Stone Edge. And I go for a Wish. Draining Kiss isn't going to kill me. Zera Aura is going to come back in healthy. And because I know he's Rocky Helmet and defensive, that gives me Volt Switch. I miss the Gunk Shot. That sucks. I'm forced into Zera Aura again. I Volt Switch on the Corviknight. And in comes Salamance. At this point, I am free to either Hurricane or an Icy's Mirror Armor there. So it, um, when I said he was pressure earlier, I was wrong. Uh, mirror Armor doesn't bounce back Eon, apparently. But um, this is the situation I was wanting to be in because he's so chipped. I'm free to fire off Hurricane and do a ton of damage, or I can fire off Fire Blasts. And I'm going to pick something off here. I go for the Hurricane. It doesn't kill the Corviknight, but I do get Confusion. He punches himself again. And I'm going to go into Cinderace as he roosts. And again, he's mad that he punched himself in the face, but, you know, I did miss a Gunk Shot and I did get crit a couple of times myself. He did get the Poison on Gyarados. It was a Haxy game, but I think the Hacks were pretty balanced. And I go for a Pyroball here. Um, Pyroball is free at this point. Because I still I have Sylveon back at full. And I can play the Mystic Fire game with him for a little bit too. Um, a Pyroball was going to do about 34%, 35% to Finny. Um, if I hit it. I managed to get the crit. Okay, that sucks. I got the crit. Um, but he was still going to be down, you know, 40%. I could have powerballed again and then gone into Zero Aura to finish him off. And Zero Aura wins the game, too, with Buzzwall and Corviknight so low. So he's pissed. I hit the second powerball, I kill. I hit a third powerball, I kill. I hit a fourth powerball, I kill. But as soon as Tapu Fini went down, the game was over. Uh, the crit sucked. Absolutely. The punching yourself in the face from Garchomp sucked, absolutely. But they weren't game-changing plays. Um, Sucker Punch on Cinderace still beat the Garchomp down, even if he scale shots. It's a 50-50 that I don't think he would have won based on how he played. And while the crit did suck, I was still putting that Finny down in range where Zero Aura just comes in, Volt Switches, kills it. Sylveon comes out, Sylveon screams at 
Buzzwall or Mystic Fires Corviknight. Actually, it just Mystic Fires and kills both of them, so... It would have been a Sylveon sweep instead of a Cinderace sweep at the end there. Garchomp Wish Passing, or Salamence Wish Passing, healing up um, Zara Aura like it did helped, but it still would not have, in my mind, made a difference. And I actually had a couple of um, people look at this match, look at my team, and they said, yeah, you're, you're right, it didn't matter. It sucked, but it wasn't game tilting, so... Well, that's week one, so we pick off a 4-0 win. Now, I did make changes. So after I played this game and won 4-0, the power rankings for SBT came out, and I got ranked 15th out of 16. And I thought I had a pretty solid draft. So I was talking to... Um, a couple of the people... Uh, he was the Minnesota Mighty Annas. That was the team I played. Um, I was talking to a couple people. I was like, well, what do we do then? Um, let's make this team a little bit better. Um, I have one free agent left and four points. I swapped out Gyarados for Mega Blast Toys. Um, it gives me more bulk. Plus, while I can't Shell Smash with it, I can still do a hell of a lot of damage with Mega Blast Toys. Um, I picked up Scrafty, another physical special wall. Because their biggest complaint was I had no defensive backbone and outside of Sylveon. They weren't wrong. You know, I was definitely not the most defensive team in the world, but... Um, Blastoise gave me another hard-hitting special attacker. Ferrothone gave me a better Steel-type over Registeel. Um, I managed to keep Spikes and all that as well. Rocks. Um, while I don't particularly care for Ther Ferrothorn, it pairs nicely with Sylveon. Um, Scrafty coming in. Obviously, I've had some fun with Scrafty um, and enjoyed Scrafty, so it um, it should help. We'll see how that goes. And then I had to drop Frostlass. Um, I couldn't keep it. So I currently don't have an Ice or a Ghost type. I have Mega Blastoise to Rapid Spin now, um, plus Haxorus Defog, plus Cinderace Court Change, plus... Um, Espeon Magic Bounce and Venomoth Defog. So, got a little better on the hazard control, but not, um, still not great. I just, I don't know what to do with my four points in my last transaction. I'm kind of just waiting it out to see if anybody drops anything worth picking up or whatever. So, I'm keeping that in the back pocket. But that's the end of SBT week one. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll get the layouts and all that set up correctly here for week two.